Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Body Beat Down here on this Saturday morning. Thought I'd go ahead and get my walkie and my talkie in, get it done. My beard's getting to the point where it's blowing around all crazy. It's getting long. Short in comparison to what it has been. But, that's what she said. But, it's, it's growing out. So, I've already been to the store. Had a good... Uh, Saturday morning breakfast uh, for those of you that see me post my breakfast a lot sorry I post it a lot but typically my morning breakfast during the week are uh, usually two eggs and three pieces of turkey bacon and that's it once in a while if I have a leftover biscuit I might have a leftover biscuit once in a while like on a Sunday especially when it's leftover from Saturday I might have a leftover biscuit and a little gravy on it but typically six days is a normal breakfast and then Saturday is it this is when I go and I give myself a little bit more with the biscuit and gravy and the spam and real bacon. I'm not opposed to real bacon. Just uh, eat it in moderation. Moderation could be a whole pack. I love bacon. Who don't love bacon? It's literally the one thing that you'll get in an argument or a fight over if somebody takes some. <laughs> it's one of those foods that's that we just love. We'll fight you for our bacon. So... I may have to get through this intersection here, meet in a car. Let's see how it works out for us. Little wave. No, really, that was the rap name, Little Wave. <laughs> Michael. Anywho, my son's blaring down. Blaring down today. So let's talk about the week's workouts. Good grief. Let's talk about that sun again. Phew. So Monday, of course, was my heavy bench day. And I got 405 again for the third time. So happy about that. So crazy. All this time fighting to get that and you know feeling like I could have done it a year ago but I just didn't feel safe didn't have people to properly spot me and all that and now to get that new power cage and you know get it three times like that it's just crazy and then we moved on to deadlifts and legs on Tuesday I mean nothing new with those but still uh, still a pretty good day I did go up I think 455 with my deadlifts of course I'm not going stupid I'm not going stupid heavy on those anymore I got my goal 500 a few times so I'm good with that and then I went ahead and I did 405 on my squat, which I haven't done in quite a while because I took off from squatting heavy. And in some cases, I wasn't squatting using the barbell. Or I was doing different movements. So I was happy to get 405 again. 
and then comes shoulder and back uh, shoulder on the video of course I miscalculated like I do a lot of times uh, on the video I called it 245 when in fact it was 265 so that's right there that's right close to my all-time PR on shoulder press which is pretty cool so I did that had a couple decent arm workouts and different things mixed off in there so heck I don't know what I did we'll just go to Friday I did a little mixture of some incline bench pressing flat bench pressing and then I did some real short sets uh, for bicep and tricep just uh, some quick stuff there another good day uh, my incline my incline bench I either matched or did five pounds more than my all-time best I got 375 one rep I can handle that it's pretty good what I come to find out quite some time back is that I guess my incline is really good compared to a lot of people and uh, I'm usually reminded of that anytime I do an incline bench press video and that happened yesterday people were saying how great it was and how strong I am and all that so I guess my incline game is pretty good I never really put much thought into it honestly you know I never really thought you know even 20 Five years ago I just never put any real thought into well this is a more difficult lift than a flat bench for me personally and maybe that's why I'm decent at it but I don't really feel too much different but maybe that's why I'm decent at them Now, also I noticed that I don't go as inclined as some people that I've seen. But in my humble opinion, when you go too inclined, you're involving too much of the delts. And it becomes more of a delt exercise than a chest exercise. So, maybe that's got something to do with it. Maybe some of you are going, uh, putting your bench on too much of an incline. And uh, it's, be it's becoming more of a delt exercise. Uh, speaking of delts, we'll go back to whatever day I work delts. Maybe Wednesday. I don't know. I lose track. You know, I said I did 265, and and I, I usually get good comments on that stuff. And I guess that's pretty strong too. So there's a few things that I'm, I guess I'm kind of strong at, feel pretty good about. And uh, I also have people tell me that you know I should compete. Or, hey, have you ever competed? Do you compete? Anything. And I'll be honest, guys. I'm really not interested in competing. And I know it sounds stupid and cliche. But I just kind of compete with myself. Now, if there's somebody, you know, out there on YouTube that says, Hey, you know, 
uh, I'm doing this, so why don't you do it? Or, you know, why don't you give it a shot? Or, hey, I bet you might could do this once you give it a shot and, or something. You know, I'm up for that. I don't mind little challenges here and there. But as far as, like, competing, eh. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just not real competitive with some things like some people are, I guess. Now, if I was in the gym and you and I were working out together, we would be competitive. We would be pushing each other and uh, competing that way. That I'm all for. That's good fun. I haven't had that in years. Back in my early days of working out, off and on, off and on, off and on, you know, I'd have a buddy or two that would work out again, off and on, off and on. And, you know, we'd push one another. And uh, we had some good workouts. It was good fun. I miss, I miss having friends. <laughs> I miss having that camaraderie and uh, that closeness with people that you can get. So I do miss some of that. And uh, there's a few of you out there that uh, if we live close, you know, within a reasonable distance, you know, we'd probably have some pretty good workouts once in a while. Because there's nothing like being challenged, you know, being pushed. If this guy's doing that, I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know, you get that mentality. So that's pretty fun. There was one buddy uh, that would come over and work out periodically. And we're yelling and pushing each other and out there hooting and hollering and all that. and Really pushing the limits even way back then. With some things, with some of our lifts and some uh, some certain things, even like side lateral raises and front rattle, lateral raises and stuff, and doing 60 pound dumbbells, doing those and yelling at each other and you know, good times. That's good fun. Now it's just little old Mike, his little old Jim by his little old self. I don't have no buddies no more. Everybody's moved on and, you know, life happens. So, that's the way it goes. But, I've accomplished a lot and I've always been good at working out by myself. And uh, that's just, uh, that's just how I do it. So, today I'm trying my daggum darndest to make myself not go take a nap. Because my brain is thinking, well, after I do this and I edit this video and upload it, I could go take a little nap. I don't want to take a nap. It's Saturday. Look how beautiful it is. Let me show you. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, the sun's a little warm. There's a nice big breeze going on. It's beautiful out. We should be out living, enjoying things. Even if you're just going out to the lake or something and just sitting there. It's better than sitting in the house. Now, I love my house. I love my man cave everywhere I live. I got my own little man cave. I love it. But it's also good to get out. You just get you get so used to staying home so used to being a homebody you forget how to get out and it becomes a chore your anxiety kicks in everything it, you know it just becomes addictive so trying to get yourself out and making yourself get out is good and I hope I can do something today other than this walk.
See, years ago, I'd be out here with my kids. Of course, my kids are old now. We'd be out here going to these parks or going outside at our own house or doing whatever, throwing the football, throwing the baseball, shooting some hoops, riding bikes. Once in a while, the, the whole family would get together and we would, you know, have cookouts and hang out and get some ball going. Wouldn't, there was one time we even went out to the lake and had a big family softball tournament going on. And uh, it was fun. Time moves on though and you don't do it no more. So what? And just because you're older and we can't run as fast and move as quick, we should still get out and do things. But that's on all of us to do that. Again, I'm one of the world's worst and I was also kind of I don't guess the leader of the pack, but when it comes to doing things like that, I am kind of the leader of the pack. And so when I'm not doing anything, when I don't initiate it, you know, we don't really do those things. So I'm kind of responsible for the lack of activities and lack of some family gatherings and stuff, I believe. So. I hope to change it one day before it's too late. So, goal today is to do something. Try and find something to do. Uh, I am going to be making burritos and tacos tonight instead of going out to eat. I thought I'd. Just get my own stuff and make it my home, which costs three times as much. <laughs> it's cheaper just to go eat. So tonight, my cheat day will be some big old beef burritos and some chips and probably a Sprite. I have a Sprite. So, and more glass on the road. Such lovely people. Notice it's always some kind of a beer bottle. Hmm. Anywho, guys. Hope, you, uh, hope you've been watching the channel. Hope you enjoy the content I'm putting out. Hope you enjoy seeing me succeed at some stuff. I know I, I enjoy seeing you guys succeed. And uh, reaching your goals and new PRs and all that kind of stuff. I enjoy watching all that. And uh, I hope we all continue all year long and as long as we can. So, anywho, I guess if you want, guys, if you want, you could like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. You're fantastic host. And uh, while you're at it, don't forget. Get up, get out, get red. Do a tune. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!